What is the biggest difference between a scratch golfer and someone who plays on the PGA Tour? Today, I'm with Ryan Gerard. He plays on the PGA Tour, and we're gonna run a series of tests through TrackMan to get an idea of the difference between a scratch golfer and someone who plays golf at the highest level. Ryan, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for uh, giving me some of your time out here to do this. But before we get into it, Ryan, what do you think the biggest difference is between a scratch golfer and someone who plays at the highest level is? Um, I think the biggest difference is consistency. Uh, a lot of scratch golfers have a lot of shots. It's just, can they hit them as often as someone that has to do it week in and week out? So um, I think we're gonna find out today, kind of, if that's the case. I feel like that's actually true. I played with Ryan, I played with a couple like Bryson. There's a lot of people who play at the highest level and it's like, they just do it more consistently. So today should give us somewhat of an idea of that. Let's get right into it. We're gonna set up the track man and you guys are gonna get a first hand look at what this looks like. So Ryan's gonna hit his eight shots and then I'm gonna hit mine from the same distance and then we're gonna move up a distance and we'll be keeping track of strokes gained um, the whole time, which you guys will see on the screen. So Ryan's gonna go first. Obviously we have a randomized eight shots from 75 to 125. The first one is 94 yards for Ryan to a front right pin. What is strokes gained? This is a this is this is a There's dumb a question. question here. <laughs> what uh, does strokes gain mean? Strokes gained is essentially an average PGA Tour pro is is 0, 0.00, and then it's basically how many strokes, and it's usually not full strokes. It's tenths or halves or percentages of a stroke that you either gain or lose for every shot that you hit. All right, so 94 yards. Is this a field shot for you? So 94 yards. I hit this new 61 degree wedge. I hit it about 103 if I really go at it. So we're kind of just hitting a smooth one of those. Something that I'm looking at here is this pin is technically front right on the green. So in our little competition here, you lose more strokes for missing a green or hitting in a bunker. Long left is kind of the, the angle that you're trying to hit here. So I'm gonna start it just a hair left of it and try and hit it like 95, 96 to kind of give myself just a little extra leeway. Just left out. Look, it's a bit hair long. 100 yards. See right there, you can already see the strokes gained. Minus 0 0.2, so that's a little bit worse than average yes, about, from that distance. Yeah, wow. Exactly. Okay. So that white circle is pretty much average. Is that 10 feet? From 83 yards, it's probably just under 10 feet. So we're 83 yards, next shot, kind of middle back. And... Oh, that's right, right. Go long. All right, well, if I hit that exact shot, the next <laughs> one would be left. really, yeah. really good. We'll try and replicate that. 91 for the third shot. The dreaded left fin. <laughs> that trajectory is just so good. Pretty good, maybe a touch left, touch long. You find a lot is with these shorter shots, you get exposed pretty good if you're not completely dialed in because guys are really good on tour with a wedge in their hand. Mm -hmm. We got here 82 mm -hmm. to a front fin. Right at it. A little right, but pretty good. 13 feet. 13 feet, but I'm losing five hundredths of a shot. These guys are good. Dude, these people are good out here on the PGA Tour. We got 114 to a back pin. So this is kind of when it gets interesting because that circle-ish becomes less of a circle, becomes more of the outline of the green. So that yeah. means that the target is wider, but you do have to find the actual putting surface. I love that trajectory. 113.3. He gained 0 0.2 strokes on that shot, right? Yeah, point, yeah 0 0.24. Right about half a shot lost on this whole test. Three balls left, so let's see if we can get back into round zero positive territory here. 103. I always like to know, like, what do you think? You think it's going to be good? I think that's pretty good distance. Ooh, that's really good. Six feet. He gained just under half a stroke with that one. He's back to almost zero. He has two balls left. I don't know about you guys, but this stuff fires me up. It makes me really want to get a track man. So we got 79 yards for a second to last. A little short. A little short, little right. A little short, little right. And on the green. Still gained it there. I, I mean, that's it's pin high. It's 10 feet. That's pretty good. 112 to finish this challenge for Ryan. He's at, I mean, just almost right at zero. That's it. Might need to sit just a touch. Just six feet. Wow. 
So on his last ball, he got back into positive strokes gained, 0. 0.3. 0. 0.36, baby. That's pretty good. Better than tour average. Right out the gate, he's better than tour average, which is, you know, to be expected. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, and we're going to see what happens. Shout out to Factor for sponsoring today's video. A lot of different options you can choose from, and I chose the keto, and I'm always excited to see what they send me, but they send a couple new meals, so I'm pumped to try one of those. All right, so this is one I have not tried, which is the spicy Pabano beef bowl. I freaking love beef. And I'm gonna do a carrot, orange, and ginger. That sounds like absolute month. The beautiful thing about Factor is all these meals are ready in two minutes or less. So when they show up at my door, they're literally fresh. They've never been frozen, and the quality is there. I've been eating these meals for eight months now, and I haven't gotten tired of them. So that's, okay, they speak for themselves. All you have to do is poke several holes in this, and then you pop it in the microwave for two minutes. I love ginger, it just gets all in my nasal cavity so quickly. Guys, right now, click the link in the description, head to factor75.com and use the code MICA50 to get 50% off of your first factor order. Today's gonna be a great day. All right, guys, my first shot here is 124 to kind of a shallow green. I wanna get this right to pin high, it's just a real comfortable 50 degree. I think it is, it might be a little short. So it carried 115 and need to carry 124. So slight problem for me right out the gate. 124 again to a back right pin. That one should be pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. That's gonna help me out. Four feet, come on. Locked Didn't in. see, hadn't seen that one yet. All right, 81 yards, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little 60 or 58 degree. like it but we'll see mm. oh 93 i freaking flew it that felt really weird just a little out of hand there on my third shot 78 to a back pin so i'm gonna try to land this just a little short pretty good i think it's, it's pretty good a little short i said it was short and ryan goes touch long and it was perfectly long it's almost like I've watched a lot of people hit golf shots this year. Yeah. All right, well, I'm currently minus a stroke right now. 107 yards. Let's try to get to pin high. I'll try to carry it that one else. I think it'd be good. I'm going to stop saying whether I, whether I think it's good or not. That's a quality, smart shot. So that gets me some back there. 91 yards for my fifth. It's on the green, but it's still a little long. That was minus, as you guys saw on the screen right there, minus two, I think it was. So I'm I am currently a stroke, a stroke and a half, just under a stroke and a half. And I got two balls left. I got 113, and I have to pull 54. What do you think, Ryan? Pretty good there. Oh, yeah. 12 feet? 12 feet. Just short of it, just like I said. I could just do that over and over, then I'm gonna be getting somewhere. 98 to finish to a middle pin. I feel like I've had some pretty easy pins. I'll go a little bit. I think that's pretty good. You think it's good? I'm just a hair short. All right. Ooh, yes. All right, that's my first eight shots, and I'm currently at minus 1.15 compared to the PGA Tour. So Ryan is beating me by a little over a stroke right now after the first set. That's really cool. I like doing that. So. Being a, you know, 1.15 strokes from that distance, I feel like that is a little bit of a red flag, but I don't know. What do you think? It's not that bad. I mean, you hit eight shots, so you're mm -hmm. averaging like 0.15 per shot. So like okay. you hit a couple in the bunker early yeah. on, and those are really hard to come back from. But yeah. your good shots are really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the consistency from yeah. shot to shot. Your bad shots just aren't quite as consistent. Yeah. So 75 to 125 is out of the way. Now we're going 125 to 175. Eight shots. We're going to do the same thing. Ryan's gonna go, and then I'm gonna go. Ryan's first shot is 138 yards. He has a back left tucked pin. We switched targets, by the way. We're going with the American flag, so we don't just nuke balls into the woods over there. So that was a, it was, it carried the perfect distance, but he just pulled it, pulled it a little bit. All right, 148 should be just a smooth, Pitching a little short. 
I right. love the ball flight though. That's a really good shot. I'm gonna kind of lose the circle in my head because when I hit that first shot, I was thinking like hit it inside the circle where it's like, that's that's a little aggressive for me right now. If you hit it on the green, you're not gonna lose too many shots at all if you do lose any. So it's, if you can hit green every single time and then just the closer you get, that's kind of the name of the game. 128 for Ryan's third. Buggy. Ooh, that one might be hit the left hand. I too. think that's gone. I think that's not gonna be very good. <laughs> that hung up. That's one of those Healy cut ones. Yeah. Plus almost a half a stroke there. And he's hit it in the side of the circle like two or three times already. He's already he's already on the plus right now, which is insanely good. Basically the same shot we just hit, just to a right pin now. A little left. The hair left again. A little short maybe, but it's pretty good. That's just very, just a standard golf shot. 19 feet, you know, you got a chance to make it, but if not, you're making par. 146 to a little front pin with bunkers on either side. That looks really good. A little left? A little left. Ooh, yeah. that one didn't, you didn't get the luck on that one. No, I didn't. See, he hit it 35 feet from the pin, carried it the right number, and that's almost a stroke lost. Wow play better what club are you getting from here so i got 169 that pins all the way in the back so i got a nine iron trying to keep it just short and then anywhere on line should be a pretty good shot a little tuggy again oh i'm sensing a theme here yeah that's that's, a really good that's fine i mean that's all you're trying to do from this spot is put it on the green somewhere where you have a chance all right, 138 for his second to last, his seventh ball. I'm just going to try and lock back in here and just step up and make a couple of good swings coming in. Oh, that looks really good. Should do better. Six feet. Those will play. One more, one more to go. He's back in the positives on point three strokes. He's got 127 or 126 to a left pin, to a right pin. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is left. Left, right. It's hard out here, man. Ooh. Is it a little short or not? Should be short. I mean, it normally kind of scoop, but that's kind of the safe shot. Yeah. Oh, wow. One little left. A little left. Not my best, but I think we still ended up barely in the yeah. positive, so. After the second test, Ryan ends up in, in the green at 0 0.05 strokes, so he's a little better than tour average on both the first and the second test right now. That's where you want to be. You want to be in the green. The reds when you start, I mean, you don't want to be staring at bunker shots all day or yeah. short-sided chips. All right, on to my portion. 162 for my first shot. It's going to be just a comfortable nine iron for the young man to a center pin, so I'm just going to go right at it, which is at the American flag, so dial in, hit this 160. No, hit it 162. Okay, significantly less, but it's, oh, that might be in the bunker. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I lost the stroke again right out the gate. So that only carried 147, that was bad. All right, front pin, 156. It's gonna be a little left again. No way. That's wild. Okay, I guess I'm just not hitting these in the center of the face. 154. I'm already a stroke behind again. It's going right there every time. Please don't be in the bunker. Give me a break. <sighs> That's not good. Yeah, I need to get this club out of my hand. Come on, take it. One good shot. I haven't have I haven't hit a green yet. No, I chunked it. This is just the reality of I'm a good golfer but the inconsistency is absolutely destroying me right now. That was 30 yards short, and I haven't hit a green yet from 160 in the end. 135, this should be a, just a nice smooth pitching wedge. I think it's short again. Yeah, it's still a little short, 27 feet. Not great, but also that's the first green I've hit. 134, same club, I'm 2.12 strokes behind the average right now, and I'm only four holes in, so. Come back. Hopefully that math wouldn't wouldn't keep doing that all the way up to 18 holes. That one should be good. A little right. Okay, I need. I just I need a club up. I don't feel like I'm hitting it short, but I'm hitting it short. 130 to a back pin. Yeah. 
side, but pretty good. Deal. A little right, but I think the distance is going to be pretty good there. Yeah, 14 Maybe feet. Circle. All right, last shot. It's probably going to be something long. Yeah, 170. All right, this could uh, this could help me out if I hit this close. I'm two and a half shots back right now, which is obviously not good, but it's really cool to be able to see that and know, like, those are the scoring opportunities, and I just missed, like, six of eight greens. Did it hit it good? I hit it pretty good, yeah. 32 feet short to be exact. After my second round, I am 2.5 shots back. So after two rounds, I'm 3.5 shots back and Ryan is currently just better than average. So we're already seeing some dispersion there. I, I think I got a little more in the tank, but also, you know, we're just testing it. So on to the third test. It's gonna be 175 yards to 225 yards. Ryan has the honors again. I'm excited to see what these shots look like and, and how Ryan handles these, but let's get this test set up and we'll get right into it. Ryan has 209 yards to kind of a left pin. I'm gonna guess this is probably a little five iron. Oh, a little six. Come on, man. Just a little bit left, do you think left. it's left of the green? That's left of the green for sure. Only losing 0 0.15 strokes there, so that's not, like that's not a bad thing bad place oh well first first long swing in a while 203 here just dead center i mean the whole green is basically a a good shot so we're just trying to hit a nice smooth one up there oh that looks really good just left touch left barely on the green but yeah it counts still gaining on that one which is insanely good 176 to a, a right pin can't tell if like that's riding the wind and it's good or if I just pushed it. That's pretty good. Gosh, that's such a great shot. Gaining point two shots there. 192 for number four. So these are where it gets a little weird because the green is funky. You either want to hit it long and right or short and left. For these, I like to find a number that I feel comfortable hitting full and try and go off of that. Maybe a touch short. Maybe not short. Yeah. Ryan's been pretty dialed in the last couple the last couple shots, like the last ten shots been so good. Even right now he's he's better than average on these long shots. That's insane. A little back pin. Again, just trying to be short and left if anything. Might need to go. Snuck on there. You're it's really good. Yeah, you're just trying to gain shots incrementally almost. Like, mm -hmm. you're not going to hit too many to five feet and gain half, three quarters of a shot. You're just going to try and hit a lot to 15, 20 feet and gain a little, little bit here, a little bit there. And it, hopefully at the end it will add up nicely, and then you won't have to worry about if you hit one bad one, it kind of bounces out. So you're just trying to give yourself the most decent birdie chances. Oh, that's a double cross. It might still be on the green though. You got a lot of room over there. If it's a little short, if not, it might be in that bunker. Yeah, that one kind of hurt, but I feel like if you're gonna hit it in a bunker, that's, that's probably the, the best bunker to hit it in. <laughs> yeah. 199. Does that make it to that bunker? I think it's a little right. Yeah. Just in the rough. A little bit squirrely with those last two, but it's like, according to those statistics, you know, you're losing a third of a stroke, but do you get that up and down? That's a whole nother like game, I guess you could say. Yeah, hopefully you do. Hopefully but. you do. I like that trajectory. It looks good though. Touch left should be pretty good. Back well, in the positive. <laughs> well, that, that probably feels good because you to stay in the positive now all three rounds. Gosh, these guys are freaking good. I think that for me, there's always been a pattern of coming up short, so I feel like I don't know. I don't know what that is. Like I, I come up short more than any, which is weird because I hit it plenty far enough. My first shot's 224, so it's right out the gate. I'm going full four iron, going right at that red flag. Anything on the green would be incredible. Might be really good. Or seven feet from the pin. That's huge for me. I'm almost a stroke back. 200 yards. This is a six iron. Need to hit more of those. That felt really good. Hopefully Trackman likes it. Yeah. That's huge. Just keep stacking those in the circle. 
Okay, so this is, that's another one where I'm gonna hit six iron again because you look at that target, there is zero room short and a lot of room long. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing I just did and maybe choke down a quarter of an inch. Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a foot. Please be good. Like I said, seven feet. That's really, really good. Off to a hot start in round number three. And this is just an absolute clinic he's putting on right now. This is a full seven iron. There's plenty of room left. I'm gonna aim just left of the pin and it's a full seven iron. Uh, it's a little more left than I was asking for, but it's probably on the green. It's probably like 40 feet. Plus another point three strokes. Just another ho-hum. I said 40 feet and it's 17. I'm hitting the shots right now, but the feel is not quite there because Ryan's always like really close when he's like, ah, I think that's, you know, whatever number. But for me, I like coach tells me all the time. You should just stop guessing. 185, I actually like seven iron again. It's kind of a back pin. I'm going to choke down just a little bit and just hit it full. Yeah, I like that. Another positive. I don't think you said a bad one yet. 22, I would rather miss a little bit long. I'm gonna go seven iron just because eight iron, that's a lot to ask from an eight iron. Uh, it's a little right, but I think the distance is really good. Please don't be too far right in that bunker. All right, I lost almost a half a stroke there on number five. 217. That's a full five iron. Oh. Give me something decent. Yeah. I didn't lose much there though, because that's a really long golf shot. You started long and you're finishing long, so yeah. see what you got here. I think I got to hit four. Oh, it's going to be short. I was afraid it was going to be in that bunker and I was going to lose like, you know, more than a half a shot and be under. That's my first positive <laughs> from 175 to 225 and I somehow managed to stay a little bit above average of PGA Tour. So that feels really good. That's a huge win for I mean, me. That's a lot more than a little. Dude, yeah. that's a whole stroke. Oh, a stroke. <laughs> yeah. 1.1 1 .1 strokes. I mean, that's like... Sign me up for that every day, ever. <laughs> yeah. To be able to do it with these clubs, you should be able to do it with shorter clubs. Yeah. I mean... You should. <laughs> Let's be I'm not honest. gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> yeah. you, you should, but no, just to know that you have that yeah. from the long distance is it's a big confidence boost. Anyone can hit a 54 degree wedge to 20 feet every single time. I mean, but to stand up on like a long par three with a bunker or water or whatever, guarding it, and know you're you're hitting good shots and putting good swings on them. I mean, that's that's huge. We're gonna move on to driver and do one more test. But this has been really cool. I, I've I've really enjoyed. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed seeing the numbers. I'm a I like. I'm kind of a geek when it comes to them, and I just absolutely love it. So we made it to the other side of the range with the track, man. We couldn't hit this way because it was downwind. We had to hit him into the parking lot. But we have a test set up. Five shots is going to give you a score. It's going to give you carry and ball speed and a couple other cool things. So I'm going to go first. We're switching it up. Five balls, one driver, one mission. <laughs> I needed that to start off. Maybe I can get Ryan in the driving here. <laughs> All right, don't get in my don't get ahead of myself. 332, eight feet right of the target. I mean, that plays just about anywhere. Uh, I, I, mean, I actually like that. So you hit it so far, 30 feet left. It's like 10 yards left. That's two really good drives for me. Let's do three more of those and then Ryan's gonna have his work cut out for him. Uh, that's a tough one right there. 21. I mean, I hit it far, but it's 190 feet left. That's probably not going to be in play almost on any course. I can come back from that one. Uh, hit so well, but it's got to just... Dead on 100 feet left. Got juked out there. I thought that was a score for a second. All right, one more good one to finish here. I got it. I feel like I'm aiming left, thinking I'm going to hit a cut, and I'm hitting it straight. That will be 100. That's pretty good there. Gosh, three of five were just so good. So, as you can see, my score was 72.0. If it wasn't for those two, dude, that would have been like a, a high 80s, low 90s. I think you're a four handicap. Is pretty I wouldn't say four handicap, but yeah, some days may be good, some days may be bad. 72 for me. I feel no like pressure. I feel like Ryan's gonna beat that. No pressure. I feel like Ryan's gonna beat that. The real question is, if I do, I go fairway finder here, or do I try and just hit bombs? I mean. Two 
two feet, 2.2 feet right of the target. That was on a rope in 315 total. So I'm going to be hitting it further, but I would take 315 dead straight every time if I, maybe I should just, I don't know, not swing as hard or something. Oh no! Yeah, but that's like ten feet, brother. Come on. And he still—I mean, he still—he hit three feet. Same exact, same exact shot, just twenty-five, twenty-six feet left of where his first one was. Oh that one's pretty good. I don't even have to look that at that one. That was a little one. farther too. Three drives in a row that the dispersion is not is twenty-six feet right now. That's absolutely insane. I mean. You can't make this stuff up. This guy is insanely good. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, that's the, that's the 49. 40. He's projected 85 right now, but 300, 107 feet right. That's the one where I feel like once every couple rounds, you, uh, you guys at his level probably have one of those because we're humans. But Not great, but usually you can find that, hopefully. Uh, go just a little bit. It's that easy sometimes. If it, I mean, if it wasn't for that one, that's literally, he hit five perfect drives in a row, four perfect drives in a row, and then had one swirly one there, but that's, guys, these guys are so good, and I mean, honestly, what Ryan talked about at the very beginning of the video was like, scratch golfers are good, but they just don't have the consistency that somebody like Ryan does. For me to be able to get to the next level, I just have to create consistency in my game, and then I, I believe I can do it. I think he's not far off. I mean, the good shots are really good. It's just kind of raising your floor just a little bit to kind of where the miss hits and the bad ones, you're not losing strokes like a lot. Like you can still kind of play it from there or get it up and down or, and just kind of having that mindset that one bad shot doesn't define me. It's, it's more of a, the sum total of good outweighs the bad and kind of going out there thinking about that has yeah. been really helpful to me so Mike is not far off clearly I mean you guys watched him hit seven through four iron like Scotty Scheffler out there so <laughs> it's pretty impressive that was a really fun video um let me know if you want to see more stuff like this in the future maybe we could even take this to the short game area but I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again shout out to Ryan for just giving up some of his time coming out here and doing this it's cool to learn from it's cool to see him and I love you guys thanks so much for subscribing to the channel we'll see you guys next time Ryan Appreciate you, brother. Thanks, Rob. That was a really nice little clap there.